Let's go. Hi. Uh. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Brilliant opening. Apparently, Mr. Goat over here wants to watch the same movie. Apparently. Why? You're just interested? Yeah. That's pretty much it. I also got nothing else to do. So, uh, the initial reaction will happen here. And if you do want a solo reaction, I'll watch it again and then just give my initial thoughts. Or whatever. But we're doing this. So, good for that. Time for the awkwardness to ensue. Now, rule number one when doing reactions. Don't be afraid to speak. Just because you're going to get like 15 million comments saying stop talking <laughs> does not mean that you actually have to abide by them. Especially since they're talking to you in the future <laughs> while you are in the past. So you don't <laughs> care. Okay? Got it. So if you have something to say about a particular scene, a particular moment, do not be afraid to speak up about it. If you want to talk more in depth about it, I will pause the movie. It's going to be a pain in the ass to edit for me, <laughs> but I will do it. Okay? W will you? Yes. Are you sure about that? I will have to if I want things to be authentic. Yes. <laughs> do not be afraid of the afraidable. What? get started <clears throat> three two one why am I counting I don't know <coughs> off to a great start <coughs> off to a great start we're already going great <coughs> that was a nice dress yes <laughs> oh my god uh. <clears throat> man they look a lot better yeah, definitely. It's, it's it's way better animation from the first movie to here. You definitely detect it. <laughs> oh, I guess you're in photography club now or something. Oh, our first song. Right, the... I, I don't think it has that light of a lens. Whatever, but this is clearly the song that is supposed to indicate everything's all well and good until everything isn't all well and good. Oh, that's... okay. As shows tend... movies tend to do. Yeah, it's like, oh, dude, look, we're so happy. Can't wait until it stops being this happy. That's a really small computer, though. I haven't really gotten a chance to watch any of the promos to this... So all I know is that sooner or later someone's gonna forget about somebody. <laughs> Man. Those were whole like two movies ago. Oh yeah. And that will never get an actual discernible timeline. <laughs> this this could have happened like a month ago for all we know. Yeah. Or or yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> like they just got back. <laughs> I was totally expecting like a bird to come out and just push it down. Yeah. Oh, by the way. Also, what kind of USBs are these? The futuristic USBs that we'll never have. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> What? Really? The song? Yeah. Self awareness is 2020. I'm Sunset Shimmer, president of the Yearbook Committee and editor in chief. Do you want to join? We can always use extra help. Yearbook Committee. Nice to meet you. What? I've been on the Yearbook Committee all year. What? We met in ninth grade English. What? Um, I was saying it was nice to meet you then. then. You didn't let me finish. Don't lie to her. Just be up front. You... She never existed. Yeah, this is... This is a brand new character who may or may not be a villain. Smile, smile. We were best friends. I'll jump down to the other side and go down to the 30 and you play 
Even though you're not on that. 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 Is that it? I, I'm, I'm just trying to, like, understand how seven people got the same award. Best friends, equally. It's just a yearbook. That's how I feel. You'll have to read it. You're one of them. <laughs> every time you close the books, like you're kissing both biceps. I don't see what's the problem with that. He is a beautiful man. <laughs> take another drink. I, I promise myself I'm going to take a drink every single time they reuse jokes. It's more of a ninja. Yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah, it's a magician's exit. <laughs> Who locked? How did the door get locked? I don't know. That's actually a good question. Wow. Yeah, if she doesn't turn out to be something else in this movie, I'm gonna be disappointed. <laughs> that or Trixie. Trixie could be a main villain too. <laughs> You gave me the second chance. You do something else with her. <laughs> and then never forget it. Your friend, Sunset Shimmer. Wasn't she. Where do you room? live? <laughs> uh, right? What the? What kind of house is that? I don't know. That's why I constantly always ask, but all I get is an answer of okay, vagueness. What, what is this? Okay, now you see, Josh. In this world, the equestrian magic that was portrayed and protruded all over the place has now gone off and. Take drones! <laughs> they have drones! They have many things, Josh. But I think we really need to go off the fact that this is the Beach Party episode! <laughs> Too many. Mm. Yeah. The white one? The white one. What color is Rarity? Please, enlighten me, audience. Uh, she's obviously the pale nimble. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say more of a coconut. So she comes here often. <laughs> nah, he, she just made a friend. <laughs> yeah, she, she just went like, "Oh hi, what's your name?" <laughs> <laughs> Hello, not R two. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nope. Okay. So, so who's, who's ready, ready to take a best friend's picture? picture? Uh oh, what, what did, did I, I do? do? What? Should we do 
I think they forgot about her. I think I think we're gonna get to the plot of the movie. Yeah. Okay. How does this work? Did she just... She stopped... She fades... Okay, so she fades away from existence. She fades away from existence, but what replaces her and what makes the timeline okay enough for... Whatever. Their timeline. Okay, never mind. I'll, 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 I'll figure this out later. your memories, and I'm not in them. And exactly how is it you can see our memories, if you don't mind me asking? With this. <laughs> it's obviously a cheap knockoff of ours. Okay, so everything did together. happen. You were there, remember? Why is she still talking to us? Pinkie Pie, what about when I came to your sleepover before the Battle of the Bands? Ha! The closest you've ever come to a party of mine is twice the year when you pretended to be Applejack and texted me. Your party is lamer than a hungry duck in snow boots. Do I got to ever say that? Yeah. That's not even a good way to. That's not even a good Applejack impression. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You could have done better than that. Twilight, you remember me, right? We've been through so much together. Yeah, like two whole movies. I only met you once when you yelled at me at the games. Oh, that's the one thing you remember. <laughs> okay, so she's not forgotten. She just forgot the friendship part of it. Okay. She's erased from everyone's memories. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, but only the good memories. All the bad ones are still there. Yes? Apparently. Because if she would just fade away from their consciousness, they, they would be wondering who the heck even she is, period. Are we friends? Am I nice? You got her questioning her own existence. Wow. Three bucks says Why that she thinks it's person? Celestia. Well, <laughs> no, no, they know it's Twilight. <laughs> I swear to God, this thing is just still open. Just oh my God! It's just You're, open. I swear to God, all it would take is just one random bison and be like, "Whoops!" <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, let me just stand next to. Oh. <laughs> Man, it's so weird to see you like that. So, it doesn't look me? right. I know, but it's just, it's just, that's the real you. It's way beyond anything I've ever heard of. Although, what? I just had an idea, but you might not like it. Of course not. <laughs> I'll do anything to get my friends back, Twilight. There is one pony who might be able to help, but I don't know if you two want to see each other. Who? Starlight? Oh. Oh, Celestia. I'm pretty sure she'll love to see her previous student that ran out on her and went to a different dimension. <laughs> she's so she's such a forgiving god. Uh, no. Nope. She's gonna send you straight to the moon. <laughs> I refuse. Uh, let me guess. She just doesn't remember. I would be. I that would be hilarious. Just like, who are you again? <laughs> or I can just go and never have to 
see me again. Wow, this is one of the. Hold on. I've missed you, Sunset oh, Shore. Okay. You know, but I have to say, this is one of the rarer moments that I actually got to see Celestia intimidating. <laughs> yeah. Just walks in. Wing. Hello. <laughs> I am immediately hostile. <laughs> I'm ready to bounce. I'm looking for three words, none of which you've said. Indeed, the toilings of this nefarious enchantment could portend unimaginable catastrophe if left unchecked. Sorry, I'm just used to hearing you say no student parking in the faculty lot. This faculty lot you speak of sounds like a place of great power. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's one of the best ways to use that joke. <laughs> a lot of power. A lot of power. And it does, it does. There's over a million books in here. I wish, but don't worry. You're looking at she somebody who knows this place like the back of her up. Where are you going, Princess Celestia? To the restricted section. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's like you don't know your own hoof. Twilight. It's like knowing your own hoof, then turning it over and be like, Whoa, there's oh another God, side! <laughs> oh man, boy howdy. I wonder if anyone's ever gonna pull the two very obviously different books in this one general section. Has anyone ever thought about that? What is up with these- what is up with this world and always having completely weird and obvious areas? So many books. Oh, I've read ancient historical artifacts! <gasps> You're gonna die. Helping me go through all this stuff. Don't take this away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. Tara, you're amazing. You heard me. Thirteen. One. Oh my god. The adorableness will never cease with her. <laughs> She's still just geeking out about every book. She she was my student. <laughs> it's like she's my friend. <laughs> so let's just just you sitting there like. She just looks over at Twilight. No. I knew. <laughs> knew that. No. Aw, sounds like you got to read all the fun books. Yeah, I should probably take a break from looking. <sighs> because I know. You're familiar with the seven trials of Clover the Clever? Obviously. No. Why? <laughs> well, first of all, these date back to before the founding of Equestria. Oh, you mean before Granny Smith came in? <laughs> Memory Stone. That sounds promising. It belonged to an evil sorceress who was practically invisible. With the Memory Stone, it's, she it's the one that no one remembers. Ah. Even fragments of memories. I can tell because it's, like it's the long memory There you go. Right. Already calling her. knew the sorceress had to be stopped. The stone destroyed, so he chased her across land and sea. But every time he got close, the sorceress would erase his memory and escape. But he kept finding her. How? Wait. These How? scraps of parchment. He secretly wrote everything down, so he'd know what had happened and where to Oh, like Memento. That's a great movie. <laughs> Clever. Oh, Clover. That. Yeah, got it. <laughs> what happened on the other side of this portal? Nice. The last page is missing. Clover must have hit it to keep any pony out from finding the memory stone. Hmm. Sunset. What if the memory stone ended up in your world? Some what are the odds? Using it to make everyone hate me again. Oh, come on. I'm pretty sure there's a completely different explanation. It's highly possible this is a huge practical joke. What? Excuse me? Whatever. I've been thinking. Should we be worried about Sunset Shimmer? Yeah, worried she'd come back. I think it's a shame the way she's treating you, pretending to be your friends. She's obviously up to something. Sunset thinks the whole school exists just to serve her. Water, please. Yeah, that's such a douchey thing. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, you know, wait, how, how did she already get under all, all that? Don't stuff? question Pinky. Talk. I believe that means the fight's Hot calling the kettle black or something? I don't know. You, Rarity. If this is your way of asking to be made the greatest and most powerful, the answer is no. So this conversation is still. This conversation yesterday. I can't quite remember. 
That, that, that stone thing kind of has selective memory choices, I guess. Yeah. You never know when you'll forget something important, like how great and powerful I am. Can I say I love your swimsuit? I need to give it your book. I'll think about it. That's all I have. No, I know it's not. The problem is, I don't know whether or not Trixie's being a troll on purpose or she doesn't remember to Starlight either. I'm pretty sure she does. She's not. Definitely not. She is not all that great and powerful. What are you talking about? You shut your tongue. Oh, it's possible. All right. Even if I have to reorganize the whole library by subject, or maybe chronologically, I'll see what we can do. Even together. This is quite a contrast from the last time we parted ways. But you are not that way anymore. With every choice you make, you prove yourself to possess a kind heart. I guess I have a good teacher. You were a good student. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you saying I wasn't a good teacher? Well then. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I she didn't say that. She didn't say that. I'm telling you, man. She knows when she can be terrified. Yes, that's like... When when the chin is busted out, you better start running. It's like I call that the unavoidable chin. <laughs> the unavoidable chin move. Bring it on, He's afraid. He's running away now. <laughs> like, le legit. <laughs> Somebody tell us. Please. How long is the flying camera for to have fetch? You're the worst. <laughs> Can't open it. <laughs> oh, he already did. It's already open. Oh, wow. It's, 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 a, it's a can delivery. Whoa. <laughs> Wait. It hit the net. That means it's out. You, it, they don't want to play this game. <laughs> Man, I wonder if they're gonna believe you. They're not. This is the memory stone. Do you recognize it? No, they don't know the memory stone like the other pony. I guess not. But look. What? See, this is proof. We are friends. Photoshopped. Please. This is the same girl who made flawless fake photos of your friend trashing the gym. Flawless. Picky. <laughs> Look, if I know Trixie, she's not the main bad guy. I, I refuse to believe you. <laughs> she just. And don't forget, Dude, I mean, she, she teleported a few feet. Well then, of course. It was an accident. I can help fix it. I think you've helped enough. Of course. Yeah, that's. You always have that low point in your life. Like you, it was clearly an accident. Yeah, almost as if it was an accident. <laughs> I don't know how to express it any other way. God. Come on! <laughs> I don't want your lunch money. I'm not me. Got it? And don't you forget it! I'm the nicest person in the school, damn it! <laughs> so, here we are. Here we do are. What? <laughs> I like that. I like how she's like. like don't, nice comeback. Don't, Wait. don't, don't, don't call me out on it, please. Sunset. It's called a red herring. No, what memory stone? The one you used to erase everyone's 
it's clearly she does she know it. Like, that's like the face of a person who's legitimately trying to understand what you're talking about. Good save. Nice. <laughs> you you know what you're talking about. Ye. I don't believe it. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Yes. I it's called a red herring. I'm I'm, I'm I'm telling you it's the green hair chick. I was already saying that. You already said that? Yes. I didn't hear that part. Really erased everyone's memories of you? Mm-hmm. And even though we all know you're the biggest me, you're saying you're not mean anymore. Complicated. So you is your only friend you going to be Trixie? To be, Great! <laughs> She's the only friend you need, along with Mod. Exactly. Mod is an also good pick for a friend. Trust me, I get it. I can't believe the only person who believes me is the one I called a manipulative blowhard. <laughs> Sorry. I took it as a compliment. I mean, Let me help you find this stuff. How? I mean, how do you take that as a compliment? Dude, if I was known as a, ma a manipulative blowhard, that means I'm good at, like, tricking people and making them do what I want. I think I would take that as a compliment, too. I am not that smart. <laughs> Alright? I wouldn't. It's such a negative connotation to it. Really? It was snagged? Is it? Really? It's the last piece was in a secret compartment. Look, Twilight. This rock formation must be somewhere in the other world. <laughs> but it doesn't say how to get your memories back. <gasps> it was a picture. Perhaps if I Why you would it? <laughs> some of my memories could have returned. But when the sun sets by the third day after a memory has been taken, it is erased forever. You must warn Sunset Ship sure. at once. What, so, what is it with magic and it's always on the third night of the blue moon? On midnight, on the strike of nine! <laughs> How that happens, I don't know. <laughs> That's magic. Forget it. Oh. See, this is why you should never have a phone book. <laughs> or a book phone? Should, yeah. Full of suspects, two detectives, and only one memory stone. Seems impossible. Like someone's pulling a rabbit out of a hat. And I do that all the time. She does. Let's talk motive. Who here hates you enough to erase everyone's good memories of you? You go back far enough? Everyone. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. But maybe the only established character in the beginning oh. of this movie. <laughs> The one that everyone's hoping you forgot about. All yes, <laughs> that's the whole point of her character. Apparently. Oh, hey, it's the nurse. Hey. That depends on how well you answer Dude, she had the chin. <laughs> Has anyone come in complaining of ever since the ever since the second movie, they've really been doing the chin a lot. You can't recall. Way too late. Is there anything at all? I can't tell much. Hey. Okay. Only that it's falsic, intrusive, igneous, granular in texture, most likely arranged in an equigranular matrix with scattered biotite, mica, and amphibole, at least 65% alkali faults per by volume, with a melting point of 1250 centigrade, plus or minus 10 degrees. Sorry, I couldn't be more helpful. Never have rocks sure. sounded more interesting <laughs> thanks to you. Only come up with dead ends, but like, I mean, it's, it's like just draw an oval and she's like... It's a goddamn piece of obsidian that's been <laughs> a volcano in the that's South Pacific for at least 1,200 years <laughs> at most. <laughs> man, that's gotta hurt. Yeah. No, oh, man, she's totally photobombed. <laughs> Wind yourself up. You can't think if you're wound up. Oh, think, Trixie. I wanted to you come in here and see who's missing. <clears throat> but we've talked to everyone, A to Z. Who's, Wait, who's that? Not pictured. Wallflower blush. Really? It's wallflower. I'm right here, you know. Hey. Uh, who are you? <laughs> oh my God. Wallflower. I, you, I've known you her since motive. third grade. I've been forgotten since, since I was third grade. Oh my God. <laughs> Not you specifically, but what a great it was! The great and powerful 
little Trixie debuted her disappearing frog trick. <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't realize how the much... The one that she, like, tossed out the window. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's like... Sunset. We think the memory stone was buried under this rock formation. And if you don't destroy the memory stone by the time the sun sets today, all those memories will be erased forever. How am I supposed to find a rock formation that looks like that rock formation? Yes! Work. Why is that screen suddenly on? It, it's definitely Can the I ask a silly question, point. Wallflower? Where did you take that lovely photograph? Oh, <coughs> that's my garden. Well, the school's garden, technically. I'm the president of the gardening club. I founded it, too. I'm also the only member, and the only one who's ever been to the garden or seen it. <laughs> Or even asked about it. Are you serious? Really Look, okay, I could believe some of the other things, but you're telling me throughout no the entire one, school, no one stumbled across this garden. No, no one's even heard about it. Next, you're gonna tell it's me that Princess, Princess Celestia and Princess Luna don't even know that this thing even exists. The next thing is gonna be like, no both, both, both principals are just gonna be like, no, are you enrolled? Are you a student? Um, so I guess the only thing that could possibly make up for that is that. Every time someone gets close to the stone, it just makes you forget that you are even at that area and makes you turn away from it. And she's the only exception for some reason. What are you? Yep, always there. I swear to God. Like, you, you know what would be the best thing in the entire universe, and I know they didn't do this? If you go back into the old movies and look very closely in those segments and see her there. I, I, I know for... I know Damn sure they didn't do that. They did not, not do there. that. But think about it. <laughs> that would be an awesome. If, if it was there, then I would have been like, oh, Jesus. They were thinking about this for a while, then. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yeah, just, you know. You just stumble across it. So how did you hear? Portals? A uh, uh, guy ran, no, girl ran away into this, into this dimension and buried it there to hide it. Why should you notice me? After all, you're Sunset Shimmer. Everybody loves you now. Why can't we see you haven't changed? What do you mean she hasn't changed? She clearly changed. <laughs> yeah. Like, she saved the planet at least twice. <laughs> Unless she's talking about the sunset of this world. That clearly it does not know. exist. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, so that's what we saw. Uh, I was kind of wondering why like, it looked what was like that? movie tape. Yeah, I just thought that was just like the magic getting into some place, but no, this is this is okay. So memories are depicted as movie clips. Movie clips, of course. <laughs> magic movie clips. Uh, yes. <laughs> Puncher! <laughs> wow. Trixie, not helping. <laughs> oh, she gets her own song, too. Of course she does. Maybe if you tried to, you know, like, physically like someone's shoulder? Like, punch someone in the gut. I'm pretty sure it's someone would read it. Sorry, this is her song time. You can be respectful. Even though I don't care about this character. Unlike, you know, the Legend of Everfreak person that you kind of cared about, so you kind of listen to her. Yeah. You... You got, like, negative five seconds of screen time. I think that one's your fault. Yeah, you should have showed up. <laughs> it's not like they actively took you out of the yearbook. <laughs> what? Why, why is the drone here? I think... I completely forgot why it's here. Oh, to, 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 to finalize the picture. Okay, so. Three Bucks says the drone captured the moment where she stole the backpack and that's going to be used. In the middle of her song. It's more self-awareness. Just like she's singing. 
Oh, you no, sly no. dog, you got me singing. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm so hurt. <laughs> the biggest meanie. That's the best Let's line. Men in black style. Oh no. Whoa! It's almost as if you got your mind at weight. <laughs> Can't really say anything. Oh, that's why the drones say. Recorded everything. Right. I saw the button. Oh, flashing. because memento and whatnot. Yeah. Or that. Maybe the drone can't take video. Great. Yeah, it can record things. Never mind. Oh, so yeah, yeah, okay, here we go. Of course it has, because why would it not be? <laughs> ah, Batman style. Thinking 19 steps ahead. <laughs> Okay, she remembers. <laughs> wait, wait, the actual music is there? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Even they don't care about her song. Man, what? So, hold on. Basically, what she just said was oh instead of. I hate you for being oh, neutral I towards me. Yes. In fact, I I support <laughs> this because I'm happy they made Trixie say that. Yeah. Because Trixie was that character who just needed someone to be nice to her for her to go to the convert to the good side, but everyone just accepted and be neutral toward her. Also, can we like take a moment to talk about the weird Game Boy phone that she has? No. And I mean, she is the greatest powerless Templar high school has to offer. And yes, it is a word. Fight me. <laughs> Here's a dictionary. <laughs> Yes, dude. Is... Man, should be Captain she had us all fooled. Captain of Drama Team. <laughs> You're gonna do the same thing. So she's actually imagining? We're not gonna question this? She's just gonna do that? Heck, even our Trixie in our universe still needs to have, like, gimmicks and props. <laughs> what? Yes. How your spikes are uneven are bothering me now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Of rock. Hold on. What did she did she play? Did she say plants? Plant plants. Plant, plant. <laughs> 
impressed by erasing your friend's good memories of you. But obviously, that didn't work. What if I erased all their memories of high school? I don't know why you just yeah. didn't do that from the get-go. Oh. oh, now she's turning into a potato. <laughs> random act of selflessness. Oh. Well, it's not really random. It's, it's, a, it's just legitimate act of selflessness. <laughs> I like her. I like how hers are color coded. <laughs> yeah. Price. She's like, oh god, what did I just do? Oh man, she's like full on pony mode at this point. Oh god. She's gonna have an exit of a crisis. I won't help her. Who are you? We're your friends. Sure. That's right, that's uh, right, ladies and gentlemen. If you ever want your friends to remember you after getting their mind zapped from a magical rock, jump in front of a bullet in front of them. They'll remember you, like, or dude, care about dude, you. Dude, if, if, if someone was trying to gun you down and then someone jumped in front of you to take the bullet, I'd yeah. be like, okay. Yeah, you're, you're my friend. Yeah. yeah, you're my friend. Yeah, I got so, you. Look, the new forms, it looks like. I don't remember these forms before. <laughs> uh, no, this was this was the same forms as the last ones. They're the same forms. Yeah, it's just it, apparently the clothes change depending on the clothes they're already wearing. Right, that makes more sense. Which actually, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that's about as close as you're gonna get <laughs> to a legitimate threat. <laughs> Oh, they're not color coded. Well, because all they took was hers, and hers is red. Uh, okay. I do like to know it's still color coded to the person that they're taking the memories from. <laughs> That's why no one remembers you because you constantly misuse your power. <laughs> okay, so you you erased all the things that everyone interacted with you, and you're wondering why no one remembers you. Okay, it's those awkward moments that make people remember you. It, it gives you a person freaking <laughs> By the way, about your great and powerful friend, you better have gotten her out of that goddamn room. The memory stone is no more. No team parking in the faculty loft. With such great power. Thank you for your help. You're my best to Princess Luna, and of course, I guess those are the yearbooks. Yes. How are you supposed to tell what year it is? It doesn't have a label on it. See, they're trying to make it ambiguous. You don't know what year it is, Josh. You'll never know what year it is. They're probably in their ninth year of high school for all we freaking know. How did this get in here? A yearbook president never reveals her secrets. Great and powerful. Now, not only is Starlight Shimmer. Wow, Shimmer. Starlight Glimmer. <laughs> you know what? Having Rose Petal, I guess that's her name, and Derpy being with her definitely is the best. <laughs> Look at her, she's adorable. Oh, come on. Now it's like all of you are kissing bulk biceps. <laughs> yes! <laughs> like how dejected she is about it. She's just, no. I don't want this ship. This, no, I do not accept. She's like, no, make it stop. And yet she continues to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
there you go. That was that movie. I have a question. Yes. Who is the main villain's name? Roll. We're gonna get some. We're, we're probably gonna get some crap for that. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, then we can plead. That's the whole point of her character. I mean, she wasn't there for like half the movie. Yeah, she was there in the beginning. For a good five minutes. Uh, and there at the end. <laughs> disappeared there at the end. And that's about it. Um, okay. First things first. Where would you rate this movie? It, it, not on a scale of 1 to 10, but one uh, on the scale of the movies in general. Okay, so for me, the top one is Ever Free. The top one is ever free. That's shocking. Yeah, I, I, I liked ever free. The, more than, the, the more than rocks. battle of bands. More than Ra rainbow rocks. Okay, wow. Rainbow rocks is my first favorite. Wait, rainbow rocks. Rainbow rocks with the dazzlings and your favorite German yeah, version of a song. I, I just said the battle of bands. Yeah, but that's it's called rainbow rocks. Oh, it's, yeah. They have a battle of the bands. Yeah, but it's it's like a close second, close second. It's okay, like, it's like right there. It's okay, like, it's like yeah. okay, and then. Number three would probably be this one. I don't remember the other two all that well. Well, I mean, I remember the first one. That's it's like, just very all at the bottom <laughs> of the barrel. Just spike it into just the ground. Like, you just keep it. Just, just, just suppress that memory. All the way down there. Mine is basically the same, only the, the first two are switched. That's basically my, my take. This movie, if I had to sum it up, was... Not necessary, but... <laughs> definitely something that's okay to have because really what have we what have we learned that we didn't know before and now we know Trixie knows actual magic in this universe <laughs> Trixie knows legitimate magic that is not staged and before you guys say oh she probably just has hidden like trap doors then she clearly could have used it still she doesn't need to throw down a magic pellet of what heckery <laughs> If she truly believes in herself, she, she can she, she can bend she space it. itself. <laughs> but only if she's she's Sasuke from Naruto. She can only switch places with another thing. She can't she can't just go somewhere. Is that or she for some <coughs> reason has a little bit of a question magic. Well, yeah, I can see that. I mean, she her counterpart is friends with one of the most powerful magic users in the verse, right next to uh, Twilight Sparkle herself. <laughs> so, there's that. Happy that Mod is constantly getting cameos in that in this, and constantly being the best cameo appearance in any of these. I wonder how hard they have to work on making a description of a rock. <laughs> like, do they have to get, like, an actual geologist <laughs> or archaeologist, whatever the guy that studies rocks is... <laughs> Be like, hey, give me the description of your latest rock. And then we're just going to talk about that as an entire scene and just let it be there. <laughs> now, look, uh, the reason why I say this movie, like, okay, if I had to discern the other movies, the first movie needed to exist because it needed to establish this universe, give us a heads up on how it works, and Twilight's interaction with the people of this universe, okay, Second one needed to exist because it's supposed to indicate that there are other worldly creatures, such as from the Pony universe, coming to this universe, that came to this universe, and, it, and who knows? <coughs> knowing knowing that, Mr. That Beardy... world's just the dump. Yeah, knowing, knowing, <laughs> knowing Mr. Uh, Longbeard over Mr. there. Mr. Longbeard? Yeah, uh, I know. It's the Star Swirl the Bearded, the Mr. Longbeard. Him just using that place as a, as a trash can for all the evil in the world. I can see it legitimately being a thing. I don't know if you knew it was, like, another world. I think it was, I maybe you just thought it was, like, a void. Be, I don't remember the first movie very much, but I do remember them saying something about Star Swirl being able to make it or something like that. And he just, in, 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 in the season 7 finale, he just opens the portal and they just go inside. He doesn't say, I'll send you to the human world. <laughs> He's like, ah, fine, let's go. <laughs> Nope, you just did it, and then they just went in there. So, 
that second movie needed to exist, not to mention the second movie was just amazing. Also supposed to establish that Star- uh, Sunset has grown as a character and now has officially became friends. The third movie needed to exist because we need to establish the, this u- that, that actual universe is Twilight and have her be the cemented Twilight in this universe while having the our Twilight constantly go to this universe. The fourth movie needed to exist because they're actually doing this whole relationship thing with that universe of Twilight, and they're actually building upon that, unlike a certain other relationship that I, shall not I, be named. I think you're missing the bigger point of the little shard gem. Yeah, things. yeah, no, no, I'm getting to that. Okay, just give me a minute. It's, it's, it's give me a minute, Josh. I need to. I need to get, like to get the was... small <laughs> stuff first. You get the small stuff first. It just the stuff that doesn't matter very much, but matters to me as as a story writer. Just, then get to the narrative reason. It just then you get shards <laughs> that allows them to go Power Ranger mode just, slash Sailor Moon mode, and then they're established power users. This movie. It sounded like the the whole relationship was. Oh my the god! Most important. Part. Oh my god! Gosh. No, it was not. <laughs> It's just you you spoke with such like passion about it. I spoke with passion because when you want to do something right, you don't have to do it the second time around, all right? I, it still ticks me off to this day, all right? Anyway, they got the shards in that movie. In this movie, what happened? What happened? Trixie made a friend. You could have done that in any other sense at any um. other moment. <laughs> introduced the gardener literally no one cares <laughs> not even the movie <laughs> i here's my backstory song here's my backstory song and throughout the song sunset shimmer showing no, it's showing disrespect hell even trixie showing disrespect you're like man this is a long song isn't it <laughs> and no one cared yeah uh, the Sunset Shimmer, this wasn't supposed to be like Sunset Shimmer's big redeeming moment. She already had that moment like two times over, showing how much of a friend she was to the crew. So <coughs> <coughs> cementing that even more just kind of makes it redundant. It, it's the whole thing of them just constantly being like, yeah, she was a bad guy. You remember that? She was bad. Again, we went through that in small tidbit jokes. In the past, and if we're gonna do the, if we're gonna do the whole, well, when she was a bad person in the past, it does not mean everyone forgave her. I would get that if you did it right. This was not how you're supposed to do it. This is a person who was jealous that even though she was bad in the beginning, everyone accepts her being good now, even though she clearly is different. See, you're still the same. For those of I... you who watch My Hero Academia, this guy doesn't, but Todoroki. It, uh, spoilers for the manga, there is a person who does not like Todoroki because of how he used to be in the past. I mean, even though Todoroki has changed, the guy who hates him doesn't know that he changed. So he already judged Todoroki on that because he doesn't understand the new Todoroki. In this case, it's like she understood the old uh, Star uh, Sunset and she just doesn't accept that she's uh, changed. That's just her own denial, and it's her fault. Not to mention it's her own fault for being re- forgotten, because she made people forget the moments that were supposed to make her remember you. <laughs> like, imagine a life where you, every time you made a mistake in someone's face, you just made them forget all about it, and then you just leave. <laughs> Who will remember you? <laughs> you know, just knew you as that one guy. And that's it. <laughs> what solidified you in my brain? If you tripped and fell on the, on me in some coffee, I will remember that moment because one, my chest will be on fire. <laughs> but I also remember you because you're a klutz. Is that a bad thing? It couldn't be if you actually became friends with me and I understand that's your personality trait or something. I don't know. All I'm saying is she was a bad written character. <laughs> All right, you could have done better. And this movie doesn't need to exist, but I'm happy it does because it was an okay movie. <laughs> Alright? I, I enjoyed it, but man, it doesn't need to be here. It, it really it really yeah. doesn't. I, I Usually I'm not this critical on, on many, many things. You know, the main things I'm critical on is the lack of derpy in certain scenes, <laughs> <laughs> relationship building, character interactments, char- character motivations, and uh, plotting. 
and just generally just character. Anything that involves writing. And this involves a lot of writing issues. And it's... You could have easily made it so that it could have been like a problem. You could have made it one of those items that got taken over by the magic that's been going all over the place during the mini miniseries and have it be like another day in a life of trying to protect the world from the corrupted magic in the universe. No, this is just, this is literally just a, a chick who has problems and not, and, and not actively trying to find them. <laughs> the lesson. Want to talk about the lesson? Uh, what's the lesson? The lesson is... Don't be neutral, be nice. <laughs> Don't be neutral, be nice. It's not enough to not hate somebody. You gotta love them. Yes. And I would accept that if they already didn't do that with Trixie in the main story in the Pony Universe. One of the first things I said, you can go back to my reaction of the time we met Trixie and you have proof of me saying man she just ran away after being forgiven someone needs to go after her she's just gonna come back ten times more uh, ten times worse if you don't have a person be nice to her and show that she has friends oh and look at that alicorn amulet oh my lord I didn't see this coming and then what happens after that she runs away again what's gonna happen she's either gonna come back a more worse than before or she's just gonna be hated and what happened? She comes to the pony. She comes to Ponyville and is shunned by the princess of friendship. It takes Starlight Glimmer, a person who corrupted timelines, <laughs> to come to her aid as a friend. So yes, if you are neutral or just forgive someone and don't be nice to them, the bad stuff will happen and that will fester. But again, if they, if they didn't do it with a better character, I would have accepted it more here. I, I'm not accepting it here. We already have it. Now, the argument would be, well, they didn't establish it in this universe. Do it better! <laughs> I, I think... I think it would have, would have been better if... What's her face? Uh, Let's just call her Green Hair Magoo. <laughs> Green Hair Magoo. It would have been better if she had some sort of way to be the replacement for Sunset Shimmer instead of being like, okay, you are now forgotten, and now I still have no friends. Instead, it would have been like, okay, now you're forgotten, and I've placed myself in where you would be. That would have made more sense. Mm -hmm. And it would have been a better villain. Or yeah, story. actually, you have a very good point. If she just took away the memories, if she took away the memories, yeah. We don't really... Okay, for as far as we know, that stone can only take away memories and not give them back. Yeah, but the writers could have... Yeah, but obviously that. you could have the writers be like, this thing can take away memories and replace them memories with fake memories if need be. Or just be. alter them. Or alter them just entirely. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, If you had a person jealous of how they were able to get to that state, take away all that and just put themselves in their place, yeah, they would have had a lot better moment because then you would have had the main six have to fight against... St sunset thinking that she's the main bad guy while the main bad guy is sitting right next to them pretending to be their friend oh, man, such, such a better movie oh my god <laughs> oh my god that's so good oh okay mm. all right we need you animated <laughs> no <laughs> no they, they already not accepting me animating as it is if i want to animate that i need my own time which i don't have yeah you do you're animating right now yeah <coughs> <coughs> Oh, you're not? No. You're, you're not animating? No. Right. He's not animating, guys. No. <laughs> but, basically, yeah, that's our criticisms. I know we're gonna get a lot of hate, because there's, I, I don't know the reviews to this. I don't know if people, like, love this to death or find this to be the greatest movie of all time. There's probably gonna be a lot of people that's like, I relate to her. Yeah, I feel like I'm the indivisible indivisible person and I wish I had a stone that could take away people's memories so I could get back at a person who's popular and not use it you know to help me get popular or get friends or you know I don't know get a drink with somebody I guess like wouldn't it be better because she did say that she took away the really awkward memories of public speaking and all that wouldn't yeah. it be better for people to just know you instead of you constantly trying to have people know you, but keep fucking it up. Yeah. It's it. 
it just kind of makes her kind of a hypocrite just by saying that one line, saying that I use the stone to make people forget certain things about me, but then you complain when people don't remember you. I know it's not like to the degree of saying, oh man, I made this one person forget me because he looked at me strange. <laughs> no, it, it's just, it, it's still though, you, you use the rock to make people forget about you and you're acting like that's not a good thing. Yeah, so basically, okay, animation was great, obviously. Okay, we talked about the animation. The animation was great, that's all we have to really say about it. We talked about the story, really nailed into the story. I have a question. What? <laughs> did, did Green Hair Magoo sound a lot like Twilight to you? A little bit. I don't know. Or is she voiced by Tara Strong? I don't know. We could check, but knowing the internet, they already checked for us and already put it like five times in the comment section. No. Oh. Thanks to you only saying that one line. All right, I'll check the comments. Sure. No. He's not going to. <laughs> I'm going to have to deal with that. <laughs> You're probably just going to tell me because I'll just be like on my computer one day and you'll be charging and there's 15 billion comments <laughs> saying how dumb you are. <laughs> how dumb we are. How dare you not <laughs> like this movie? Well, we love this movie. We actually find it to be our third favorite at bare minimum uh, above out the five. first... Uh, the uh, above the first one and above the third one, a and I'm willing to admit the third one is not that memorable to me. the The second one and the fourth one are very memorable. Like the third one is the game. Yes, games. of course, your game. Yes, yes. I, we literally had a conversation about this right before the movie, and I still can't remember. Yeah, that. the main thing we remember about that is maybe a, a song and a half, <laughs> and the premise. That's about it. <laughs> Unleash the magic, <laughs> breathe the magic. Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's that's about it. As for the third movie, there's like a lot more things to remember. The second movie's like the god be all thing to remember. I mean, the, the all the dazzling songs are in my head. Yeah, that they, they, they're, they're just catchy. Yeah, all of them. I mean, they nailed sirens down. Sirens are meant to have those songs that are supposed to stay in your head, <laughs> and they really successfully did that. Yeah, so, I mean, I can't can't argue with it good job good job um okay we talked about the care we talked about the characters and we talked about the reason why or the reason why it should exist or shouldn't or shouldn't <laughs> and again i just can't find a discernible reason why it just okay before you start typing away in the comments saying well hey, already done it. yeah well okay before <laughs> you continue the the post the preempt the counter argument to, <laughs> to this before you add your sixth reply your sixth reply think about it this way if we didn't get this movie what would we be missing out on those new fabulous outfits we could have had it that in we a, didn't really get to see all that much of we only got it like one scene of it and it mainly lasts like maybe two minutes tops <laughs> oh I was talking about just the normal outfits oh also beach party episode you know what <laughs> I take it all back. <laughs> <laughs> also, drones. Drone selfie. It's the first time selfie has been said in this series. Unless I, unless you're gonna go into the pony universe and somehow tell me that they came up with selfies in that universe, even though they shouldn't. <laughs> no, someone's just gonna like audio clip it together. <sighs> like every single character saying the word selfie. selfie. <laughs> Oh, well, we would have missed out on Celestia being legitimately terrifying. <laughs> That's something. That is the thing that I'd... The unavoidable chin move. <laughs> Seriously, can, can we get, like, a picture of that? <laughs> just, just that epic chin? <laughs> that was just incredible. It was incredible. Uh, I did like the fact... Well, I did like the fact that Sunset came to the Ponyverse, even though they did that in one of the specials, which I counted as a mini-movie, which did a way better job than this. <laughs> and we've only known the villain for just about as much time as we did in this movie. In, in, in the shorts, in the shorts... There was a there was a girl who basically took advantage of her uncle's I guess like power of movies and power of movies like he was making a movie about Darren Do in their universe in their universe and the, he, her being the granddaughter was trying to be like I think either Darren Do or the sidekick I think maybe the sidekick or something probably the sidekick who would replace Darren Do yeah, some some yeah, something involving she wanted to be in the movie she was unable to be in the movie she was jealous she was doing things. And then she was reduced down to just being like a like a, a background character. No, 
what are you are in the movies when you're just making popcorn for people? You're just making popcorn, getting, you're selling them the candy. You're just behind the counter. The, an employee at just the theater. A, just an employee at a theater. I thought they had like a specific name, just like how, like you know. Well, there used to be like ushers. like an usher, yeah. Well, ushers just show you to your seat. Yeah, that's what I mean. But like, okay, she was just brought down to an employee uh, at a movie theater now, so they're just trying to be in movies or working with a movie uh, uh, like director. And she was, she got angry at that because she felt like she was cheated, even though she clearly, she was clearly in the wrong. And she just felt, you know, basically as alone as her and just angry and spiteful. Then some magic went inside of a mirror and she was able to trap the main six into a pocket dimension inside the mirror. One by one, she was able to get her revenge until the only person who could save her was Starlight Glimmer. Starlight Glimmer saved everyone with the power of relatability. <laughs> Not the power of friendship, the power of relatability. Because god dang it, if she didn't do bad, knowing that she's doing bad, they wouldn't be like, you know what, I did bad, stop doing bad, because I stopped doing bad, and look how I turned out. You okay? <laughs> the mirror had to be trapped inside of the pocket dimension. That's the part I'm hung up on. <laughs> it's not that hard to believe. How did... You pointed at the mirror, <laughs> you po you pointed the mirror at them, and the mirror just sucked them in, and now they're in the pocket dimension. Was that mirror just always magic, or was the magic just no, the ma around yes, in the air? Yes, you know. the premise of this universe now is that there's just magic around, and it possesses random things, and it gives them equestrian magic. What it does, still undiscernible, but it differs from what item it possesses. If it's a mirror, it just uh, grants your greatest desire, it looks like. If it's a plant... It absorbs other plants, and they all sing and dance, apparently. <laughs> none of the plants sung and dance. No. What? No, none of the plants sing and dance. No, not in this movie. In in, in one of the Equestria Girl shorts. Oh, that's the thing? Yeah, that's the thing. Oh. That happens. Oh. They just sang and dance, and apparently they sing and dance. Downgraded. They, they, they sang and dance so good that Twilight didn't even notice until it got bad. <laughs> Because we clearly established that singing in this universe is literally them singing. So if they see random plants also singing, that's like an immediate red flag. <laughs> but nope, no red flags were, were brought up until the plants got out of control. <laughs> clearly, that's how it works. But yeah, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else to go before we end this off and uh, face the wrath of the YouTube community? <laughs> I haven't done reactions in a long time, and they're, and they're gonna get this. <laughs> okay, I want everyone to go into the comment section and say if you remembered the villain's name. Cause... Don't go back into the movie and yeah, try to find that. it. Look inside your heart, you know it to be true. <laughs> Put in your name down right now. Do it. <laughs> I really don't. I feel like it has something to do with a bush. I swear to God, I'm trying my best to. And I know I can't even try because as much as everyone knows on my goddamn channel that I cannot remember anyone's name for the life of me unless they say it like nine times in a row or in a rapid succession. <laughs> it's... And they only said her name probably like what? Twice. Tw three times. Three, three, four, five times max. Around there. Around there. It's... Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, in like the first movie, they say sunset st Sun shimmer like every scene three times. Not only that, it's because sunset shimmer, starlight glimmer are so similar to Twilight Sparkle, it just hurts. <laughs> so it's virtually impossible to forget their names, and it and they know what they were doing because they were going to become they were going to become permanent characters. So the, another character is going to be uh, sunshine. Twinkle. I'm still waiting for uh, Moonlight Waffle. <laughs> Moonlight Waffle? It is a pony that one of my friends <laughs> back in high school made up and to this day is still trying to make a reality. Moonlight Waffle. Moonlight Waffle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what her cue marks looks like. Is it, is it the moon that looks like a waffle? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Just think of the moon. <laughs> And instead of, like, the, the craters, it's just a waffle. <laughs> yeah, but what's her talent? <laughs> the talent, her talent, she's great at making breakfast at night. Mm -hmm. Only at night. Only at night. <laughs> if it's in the morning, it's, it's bad. So, so the only time that breakfast is universally accepted. Yes. 
That's the, that's 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 her crux. <laughs> she knows I make great breakfast at night. <laughs> the moon inspires me. <laughs> it's the greatest breakfast breakfast at night you will ever have if it's a moon, if it's a full moon. <laughs> There's like a full backstory and everything about this character. Also, humdrum sticks. He's great at he, he, he his cutie marker drumsticks, but he sucks at playing drums. <laughs> His major talent is to be able to play any instrument and it immediately catches on fire. <laughs> for no discernible reason. So it's like Guitar Hero. <laughs> yes. Exactly like Guitar Hero. Now we're just rambling on. Yeah. <laughs> Not no. even talking about the movie anymore. <laughs> you could have left that like a long time ago, but this is what happens. Yeah. We already, no. mm. yeah, we already said everything we probably need to say about this movie. Like, I really can't think of anything else. Every Everything involving Trixie was amazing for me. Obviously, because I'm such a Trixie Tard. Oh. Threatening Pinkie Pie. Threatening Pinkie Pie, and the best line in the entire entire mood, movie, you're such a meanie. <laughs> Look. No, no. Such a big meanie. Such a big meanie. Once you put the big in there, you know you're gone off the rail. <laughs> Look. Look. It, it's hilarious, because then she says, I hate you, and, and then she covers her mouth, she's like... Like, wow, man, I'm oh. sorry. That language should never come out of me. Then, it, 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 and you can you can actually accept that because throughout history, we've always said hate is one of the, like, the, the strongest, the words. strongest <laughs> words. I'm oh, sorry. The strongest words you can actually say to, say to someone. And I believe that. That's actually really powerful words if you say in the right connotations to the right person. Or yeah. should I say the wrong person? So, no, no, right person. Yeah, right person. Because then it will be the wrong move. Yeah. Uh, but, like, a big meanie? Like, you're a you could, Big mean. You could say that to anyone, and no one will take you seriously. Yeah, I, like even if you say it super, like, like menacingly. Like if you say it unironically, okay, which he clearly here, did. Here, try, 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 try to say it to me seriously. Go. <laughs> I can't immediately. I can't. Okay. Go, Josh. All right, Josh. Josh, you were a. <laughs> I can do this. Josh, you're a big me. <laughs> All right, here, let me try. <clears throat> John, mm -hmm. you are a big <laughs> meanie. <laughs> I cried. <laughs> I cried every time. Every time. Every time. <laughs> Oh god, no, that just sounds really stupid. Yeah, this is just this is just spiraling to just utter chaos. <laughs> this, this, this is just mm. Oh man. I, I, again, I'm still throughout this entire ordeal, I'm still trying to think what about this movie is supposed to solidify itself as part of the movie like area. Even the shorts have their their place as to why they need to be here. This one is like it's like, hey, someone gave us a fan fiction. <coughs> like, I, okay, I guess the best, okay, I came up with something. Having Sunset have a resolve with Celestia. That's something. It was something, but again, it but cannot it be. it could have been in a better movie. It could have been in a better movie. It could have been in a better connotation. It, it could have been a whole movie. It, it could have been, like, a... Uh, the real Sunset Shimmer of that world gets introduced to the uh, the friend group. So the one that we know has to go back to the Ponyverse. And then it all ends with a whole happy ending with Celestia and all that. Like, or because, something else. I don't know. Because the whole thing about this is, we were clearly given the backstory that Sunset Shimmer ran away to that universe. And we've already been pre-established that in that universe, there are every single type of person in that universe from our universe. And yet, not a single time, not a single mention, not a single inkling of a moment that we've ever seen that universe's sunset. Ever. And that bothers me. Didn't, didn't we all think, like, after the second movie, the next movie was going to be about the other sunset shimmer? No. Nope, or it, the other Twilight it, until it, it happened. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then after that, it was like, okay, now sunset. Yeah. But no, no, still nothing. It's just sunset. It's just in this world. And my personal headcanon is that she came to this universe, found herself, Kill buried me. her in the backyard, and she's currently eating out, uh, like, five five meters 
above her dead, uh, 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 away from her dead body every day. I'm trying to make a Rick and Morty reference. <laughs> I don't know. It. Yeah, you don't watch Rick and Morty. But one of the one of the things is they go to a, the thing. The thing. You know, I think I just spoiled it. Then, yeah, I can't really say more about that. Yeah, screw it. Uh, <laughs> Spoilers ahead. Basically saying Rick and Morty uh, messed up their universe, they went to another universe, and in that universe they died. So when they went to that universe, they just sort of took their dead selves and buried them in the backyard, and they're just living in that universe now. Luckily, in that universe, the only thing that changed was that whatever messed up their universe was fixed, and then they died. So basically, nothing is different besides everything is different. <laughs> right. So, and, and at one point, Morty was trying to tell uh, his his other universe sister now now what we is now established his other universe sister that you may have some problems, but I eat five meters away from my dead body every single day. <laughs> Just think about that. So, that's my personal headcanon. I mean, like, if we're not going to get any explanation on where this universe's sunset is, she just, it, just she, she got killed by this universe's sunset. Does she have parents? We don't know. I mean, she, she lives she, in this building. She lives in a building. And she has a room. Uh-huh. Just like, just like Scootaloo. She lives in a building. We don't see her mom. We don't see her dad. We don't see anyone. We just see that she lives in a building. We can speculate that she has a mom and a dad. We can speculate this and that, but... The show doesn't even care to show us. Yeah, apparently. It's no backstory. Yeah, who really cares? So, so again, there might be a show coming up. I'm still not entirely sure about that. Uh, it's just one miniseries. They, they, they keep, uh, people keep telling me that, yes, there's going to be a show, like an 11-minute show or 22-minute show of the Equestria Girls universe. And then I get shorts, and then I think, uh, oh no, it's a short series, as in only shorts, okay? I get only shorts, but I'm getting back and forth information here, and it's bothering me. But all I do know is, season eight's coming up soon, so I'm just getting ready for that, thank you. It's coming next month. Oh, next month? Mm-hmm. When did this movie come out? Today. That's some weird planning on their part. Eh. I mean, yeah, according to, like, every other, like, mid-season movie that came out, the, the MLP movie was the, the definitive movie B between season seven and season eight. So. Uh, all right, it's sure. Yeah. It's just Even though I think weird. season seven was still going on, I forget. Either or. Who care. knows? Okay, I don't, I, I don't The know. internet knows. They'll, neither, they'll correct us. Neither do I care, nor I remember, but do I? all I do know is this is me after watching the trailer to Season 8 and Hippogriffs, which were in the MLP movie and can only be explained in the MLP movie, do show up. Meaning that if you want to know about the Hippogriffs, their backstory, what, what they are, and how they are established, you have to watch the movie. Or, or they're going to somehow explain them in the first episode. Which I highly doubt. It's going to be a Dragon Ball Super all over again. No, here's the difference. They're going to recap the entire movie. That would be dumb. <laughs> that would be a waste of maybe eight episodes. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's a perfect use. The only thing that would make that even somewhat or even remotely okay to do is that, that they promised to elaborate on a lot of things that I have problems with. Like the Storm King. He only had five minutes of screen time. He was our main bad guy. So like Sombra. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah. That's... Oh. I, I already stated like a billion times, if season four's season finale was just put in the movie format, it would be the best movie of all time. Which one was season four? Tear it. And I'm not just saying that because of the giant epic DBZ battle at the end. That's like 50% of it. <laughs> <laughs> the other 50% the other 50 is the rest. The other 50% is the actual good character development that is T-Rex as a good villain. The uh, the other character development of Discord betraying the main six after all this time of spending with them. all uh, And just the fact that the actual global scale was more apparent. 
Because when the Storm King got his power, he just kind of messed around in one singular area and then he got defeated. Tyrek literally took over the entire planet. So... <laughs> like, oh man, I can actually see the curvature of Earth. Look at that. <laughs> so basically, yeah. I don't know how long we're going to make this make this video. We could stop it, please. We could. Yeah, we could. Should you? I don't know. We done? <laughs> I, I don't know. How are you? Do you have anything else? I, I'm... I, I, I'm good, I, I guess. I think I think we've complained all of our grievances. Yeah, we'll, we'll face our punishment in due time. I guess the only reason why I'm really stalling here is because I really do not want to face the the the, the 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 obvious backlash I'm probably going to give with this. If you do agree with me in this movie, in that, it, yes, it was a good movie, but it doesn't really need to actually exist. All right, how about this? Don't complain to John. When I complain to me. When I say it like that, it makes it sound overly mean. I don't mean they didn't need to put time and effort into this movie. Clearly, there was something they wanted to say with this movie, and they said it. I just don't see it as that big of an importance compared to all the other movies that did establish something very big. Like, they didn't get a new power-up. They, they didn't gain any new friends aside from another side friend. Like, we're not going to see her in the next movie. And if we do see her in the next movie, she's going to be a background character. She's not going to play any other significant role. She's going to have even less <coughs> screen time. Yes. As Which in she's not even going to show up. <laughs> it's going to be impressive. Yes. Now, the main thing she can, the main thing that the entire, like, Hasbro uh, company can do is whenever they make new Blu-rays of the Equestria Girls movies, they actually edit her in the background <laughs> and make her legitimate. That would be awesome. <laughs> <coughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> Even though I know it'll never happen. Because <laughs> one of the good things about Star Starlight Glimmer was that she was in the background on a lot of episodes in season f five. Five, yeah. Wasn't that the one that she was introduced in? Yeah, in the season, in the beginning of season five, she was introduced and then she ran away. Then, throughout the course of Season 5, you see in the background planning something, and then when you reach the end of Season 5, boom, she's the main antagonist. Oh. Yeah. And that was a good, that was a good hyping up of her return. While this, this they literally, it's like, she was there, but she was so invisible by the time the movies came out, you couldn't see her until just now. Good planning. Look. Yeah. <laughs> Look, okay. Awesome. Look, I'm not expecting perfection in you this You know show. what? They could have done something a lot better. Hmm. Instead of having already established scenes, just make a new scene. Just a new shot of the same scene. Just like, hey, remember the party at the Canelot? Or not the Canelot. The, the, the friendship games? Turn 90 degrees, and there she is. Oh, look. There she is. <laughs> look how much she didn't matter. <laughs> Even the camera didn't care about her. <laughs> Until now. Because she became important. Like, I, okay. There's so many things that we yeah, did wrong. Yeah, there are so many things we can talk about when it comes to this movie, and I think yeah, I think the more we beat this dead pony, the more negative feedback we're gonna we're gonna get. I'm not even afraid to beat the dead horse. Yeah, but there's not many horses in this show. <laughs> a pony is a horse. That many horses in this show, <laughs> Josh. They don't make a song "Hearts as Strong as Horses." When you have nothing but ponies. Guess what? They're all horses. Next you're gonna tell me a deer is a horse. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why would I say that? See? It's like yeah. saying all oh, goats are armadillos. <laughs> like, that's just not true. <laughs> Class of horse. Right, I get that. I get that. I get that. Right? Can't, you can't just keep making this an hour and 24 minutes long. Well, then hit the stop button. Where's the stop button? Here, I'll hit it. And this, uh, here we go. Uh, that's, uh, that's it. Right there. And uh, goodbye.